Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. Our guest tonight, Nim Toto Hadija, one of the finest rappers this country has ever produced. Major AKA Okwonko is in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we get to that part of the show, though, uh, uh, this video of a clash between police officers and teachers surfaced online this week with a highlight moment of a teacher caning a police officer. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now, um, even if they catch, uh, even, if the, even if the police catch the guy, how do you prosecute such a case in court? <laughs> Ati nigependa kueleza mahaka makwamba mnamo tarehe 20 mwezi uliopita nilitandikwa na mwalimu. What, what do you mean? Kila mtu hakuna mtu hajawahi chapwa na mwalimu. Hata yeye mwalimu anaweza kuwa na nafasi rahisi ya kujitetea sana. Sasa mimi mnaniulizia nini? Kwa nini mara ya kwanza mwalimu anachapa mtu amevaa uniform? <laughs> but then again, the teacher caning a police officer in uniform totally gives a new meaning to the term corporal punishment. Corporal Tanui umesema hiyo mwalimu amekutandika kama kitanda ya mgeni. <laughs> actually, actually I think that was unprofessional. The teacher gave the government a strike without notice. <laughs> this incident happened in Kericho where members of the Kenya Union of Post Primary Education Teachers Kupet were protesting the killing of uh, their colleagues. Justice needs to be served. However, the nerve of that teacher to cane a police officer explains why serikali ni kama imeshindwa na hii vita ya kupet. Hii mambo ya kupet imekuwa ngumu. Mapwana zetu ni kupet. Watoto ni kupet. In fact, watoto siku hizi hata hakuna kitu wanavunjwa sababu walimu walipotelea kwa kupet. In other news, uh, in reaction to calls by some other some leaders uh, for Baba to quit local politics after being appointed as a high representative for infrastructure development in Africa, lawyer Edwin Sifuna told critics that even if Baba was chosen to be the planet's representative on the galaxy. Ama to the galaxy will not retire. That's a long shot. Imagine that for a second. At uh, the right honorable Rail Armstrong Odinga <laughs> will be arriving from the moon next week to have a political rally in Isiolo after which he'll be off to Pluto to chair the conference of the United Aliens. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Now, on the real though, that's a great job. Baba will have at least five offices in Africa, including Ethiopia, South Africa, Nigeria, and Egypt. The greatest score to his followers, being the Egypt office, is just a crossing distance to Canaan. <laughs> in an interesting twist, Baba seems to have already changed his mind about crossing the River Jordan. mamba. <laughs> That's a solid, that's a solid excuse. Solid, I, I can use it. Miley. Eh, maze Buddha nilikuwa na kamta yenu walafu ni kaona watu wata ni beba ujinga. Saju nilienda kufuka barabara ni kaona road sign imeandi kwa cows crossing. <laughs> Elsewhere, Kenyans have been out, outraged by some serious grammatical errors in passages, um, grammatical errors and in passages, uh, and passages glorifying pre, uh, politicians in primary school textbooks. Uh, in response, the publishers have apologized and said that moving forward, they are not going to allow governors to be writers. <laughs> also, seven MPs walked out on President Uhuru Kenyatta at a rally in Bomet because they were not given a chance to wave to the crowd. <laughs> yes, sadly, it's said that no one had noticed that they had left. In fact, just like the president, even the people who were there heard about it in the news. <laughs> Now, in the present day life, how you dress tells uh, so much about your personality, which explains why memes like this one are so relatable. As in, ukiangalia picha kama hii, as in, vile tu imeandikwa, jama amevaivi, anakatu kukuambia umdownload the internet. <laughs> now, the, f the, the, the first impression, when you see a guy dressed like that, ukoshua simu yake, ikona TV, na ringback tone, ni merimela kipenzi. <laughs> now, that judgment, in line with... Uh, is in line with uh, if you see a picture of someone dressed like this, the first impression that comes to your mind is that anyone within a one kilometer radius, a komteja. <laughs> na mtu yote akona simu, ni simu ya uyo jamaa mwenye hana simu. 
and the judgment of character by how someone is dressed ex, uh, is one of the techniques some DJs use to read the crowd. DJ King ya kwa event, aisabu kofia kama hizi tano, anajua ile ngoma anafaa kucheza. Sema hivi. Nilikuwa nimekugipu kwa nyumba yangu na huku wewe unadojeka. Wewe ni yuzi lazi. Ni lazi. Kariji mwanamu wembu sika. That's a love song. Now, and just by that, you, I know you get the point. Uh, the show, uh, the subject of our show tonight, is informed by the previous picture. Here, Gaza, commonly associated with the Gaza gang in Kayole. Most people assume that anyone dressed like that, ni wale watu wanaminingisi muzote kwa dunia ni zao. Which, which could be true, which could not be true actually. It's not very accurate because one of the fastest, ri fastest rising music groups in Kenya, Ethic, dresses like that. Wale waju Ethic, uh, they are gospel musicians. Wanatuanga injili ya njugu. Sasa. Now, the subject of our show tonight is about gangs. And this can be very tricky to define because the definition of the word depends on the context. According to the English dictionary, a, a gang is defined as an organized group of, of criminals. And I really hope that includes the beard gang. Because as harmless, <laughs> as, harmless as they may look, other than kukula pesa ya wa mama, <laughs> they are also a major cause of insecurity in relationships. However, that's not the form of insecurity we are talking about on the show tonight. We've complaints uh, from Kenyans, Mara Gaza, CG42 brothers, kuna ingine Mombasa inaitwa Wasafi, kuna China boys, CG42 brothers, Kabete branch, superpower. There are very many of them. And this is one of the saddest things about it. 51 boys from Nairobi's Eastleigh area arraigned at the Milimani Law Courts this morning. The boys, some as young as 12 years, are believed to be members of a gang called Superpower Boys and are accused of using force and crude weapons to rob a businessman, Mohammed Zaid Aden, of 32,400 shillings along 9th Street in Eastleigh on Thursday. Can, can you imagine that? Being robbed by children as young as 12 years old. As an adult, you may think that's impossible. Ah, um toto ni jana tu ni limunuria pipe. Akini leo ni nyanganya simu. It's very hard. It's very hard to believe a story of an adult robbed by a 20, at a 12 year old, but then there's a way they do it. Wana ibia wa Kenya wakiwa in groups, usiku na mchana. Ni kama tu vile ma MCA wana operate. But at least for MCAs, there's documentation. And violence is only applied when applicable. With Gaza, uh, Gaza, Gaza being among some of the most popular gangs in the country, word is that it started as a youth self-help group, uh, only to later turn into the dreaded organization. During a police raid of the group's den, some documents were found with the name of some of the leaders, including Samuel Kagwanza, who police say was the de facto leader of the group and had attempted to register the group on 11th June 2016 under the pseudonym Potimo Youth Group. The self-help group later evolved to the hardcore criminal gang, courtesy of some politicians. Courtesy of uh, some politicians. Sadly, most, if not all, the stories of people engaged in crime and gangs have a sad ending. Now, I'm not a security expert. My interest in this uh, gang culture is the role that music plays in it. For example, the Gaza gang is said to draw a lot of influence from Jamaican artist Vibes Cartel. How does that work? Our guest tonight is one of the biggest genge artists in Kenya. And Genge loosely translates into a gang in English. But ironically, this genre does not glorify crime. In fact, it's better known for positive vibes. You know, there's positive vibes cartel. Now, to help us break this down, uh, on the other end of this break, Major A.K.A. Okwonko is with us tonight. See you guys in a bit. Life is a journey and GG Motors offers you the most reliable means to get to every planned destination. With a reputation spanning over a decade, a decade of the best trading and import deals in the country. GG has created a brand that will definitely get you there. Visit any of our branches on Hallingham, Agwinskodek Road and Kiambu Road or call 0726-310-490 for a chance to move in style at a price that is friends with your pocket. GG Motors, your trusted motor dealer.
Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Uh, on our show last week, inter an interesting observation. Uh, one of our guests was NTSA Director General Francis Major. Alafu leo, our guest on the show pia ni Major, but Okwonko. <laughs> so basically, we've had a series of major shows. Classic. <laughs> the subject of our show tonight is we are discussing gangs. Now, Major ni representative Moja wa Genge. Tuna Major na gangs kwa show ya leo. Karibu, karibu, karibu sana. Karibu. Shukran kwa kuni host up. Thank you. Yep. Huko mhambo ilivyo hizo miaka zote. Kaga nimetulia tu eh. Eh unajua kuna mtu ameni salimia hivi kwa show. Karibu, karibu, karibu sana. Hakuna hakuna msemeni goti hivi. Oh pole. Ama ama ilikuwa dance. Ah hiyo ni poa. Ni poa. Tunapiga story ya gangs kwa show leo. Umepi kuongeta? Sijai. Ujai pigwangeta? Ah. But umei kuwa na mse, amepigia experience ya kunyongwa? Nisha saidi ya mse hapa kitu wa mi, kitambo lakini. Kitu wa menyanganyo? Ah. Nini ili hape? Story ya kitambo tu. Sasa siyo story ya kitambo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, unajua yote mili kwa bado naishi geto. Ujua yeah. kuhunishi geto unajwaga, unajwaga wala wase, like wanafanya gizo staff na nini. Ah. So ni mse alikuwa metoka, alikuwa mekuja alikuwa amekuja so nyeri alikuwa anafoga na beza kuchana alikuwa yeah. msiwa kampo amekuja kuchana kidogo akapoteza phone phone eh yeah. uh -huh. alafu kaenda ukamwambia ah phone yako ime alikuwa best yangu so nili eh stay kwingi stay kwingi kuje hakuna mtu anaweza enda kuwatafuta kwa sababu hii ni weekend edition hii ni kitambo lakini eh kitambo sana sasa kitu kai hiyo ndio tunauliza nga wasi wa mtaani wa ujua ni tuaje ka ka ukika hiyo majengo si ndio unajua mse fulani ameumiza jamaa fulani phone what's the difference mbona wewe uwezi nyonga mse but mse mwingine ananyonga mtu na wewe reaction yako inakuanga gani ukijua huyu jamaa unyonga wazi phone Okay so mimi nasema hivi uh, sana okay kuna factors mobi nafanya gamse like ma vijana waingie kwa vitu kama kukua madingo na kila kitu yeah. first of all mimi believe okay nikianza na point yangu kwanza education system yetu iko vile ati juu ulipata B plus ule msa alipata A au sengeno alipata C kwa na chini ni wajinga unaona so kwa kwa society yetu huo ni mse like aizi end up kwa aizi end up kwa mtu wa maana kwa society. Yeah. Unaona? Uh -huh. So unakuta na hiyo ni now ndo wase wengi wenye wako ghetto kwa sababu uh, like ile place anaka ana stima dysfunctional kwa family. So at end up sana sana kwa hiyo gap ya C+ kwenda D- hapo unaona? So unakuta umsi akimaliza shule aingi kampo and end up ako to home kwa sababu yeye ni mjinga. Lakini just because una jua kem una kutasa zingine sele mko shule mnaenda funky shule uh, uniform ni the same na yako lakini unakuta kuna msi fulani anajua kudunga yani unakuta nguo yake ni kama ipigo pasi lakini amnaga pasi yeah. so unakuta uh, so eh uh, lakini so, so point yangu ni hivi huyu ni msi tuseme kwa education system yetu ni kwa na fashion school angeenda kusomea fashion fashion yeah. unaona lakini just because akupita kem ni mjinga Eh yeah, so major amesema wale watu wanaiba simu ni wasi wako na C+. Hapa na sivyo si what ah yani ni yani sivyo yani ni point yangu ya kwanza. Yani nimekuget. Unataki yeah. point yangu as in nazaribu kumaanisha kuna wasi wengi wako na talent different mm. lakini because akupata a certain grade and end up aind shule. So aki end up get one yeah. lazima survive. Yes. Ina make, ina make sense. Nimekuget. Hiyo ni moja. Yes. Yeah. Ni vile ni vile miu kwa mchokozi sana. Na understand. Actually kama wezi wote wange kwa wasi wako na C+ inaweza kuwa rahisi sana hata kuwashika. Eh kichana ulipata ngapi KCC? Kuja hapa. Okay see. <laughs> okay the, okay tena okay see simi ati ni yote ni kwa sababu ya education. Naweza yes. naweza ku break down si ndio? Yeah. Yingine ya pili ni uh, like uh, unakuta mse ana support ya family vizuri unaona. Labda mse ni intelligent lakini ana support system alafu unakuta government yetu inaga inaga a way of kusaidia wale wasio wako in this dysfunctional families yes 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 unanielewa so unakuta madhako ni mlevi buda ali ali alikuwa spam donor so unakuta ni <laughs> kweli so unakuta umeacha umeacha na umeacha na watu unafaa kulea so unakuta huyu msiani 
anakatini anaangalia the easy way out ni end up game senge hapa level na sasa kitu kama mtukaa wewe hiyo vile unaimba ngoma unajua wewe consider ile influence iko nayo like tuseme kama wewe sahi na wale mafans uko nao mm. ukiimba gospel mseka wili pola anaweza okoka so <laughs> uh, that's 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 uh, as in yoni metaphor that's not, <laughs> not actual the case but ni ya kuonesha the level of influence yeah. uko na like eh hey, ukitoa wa babulas kuna msee unajua akisikia babulas anaitisha anaitisha ingine mm. ufikirie hiyo <laughs> okay unajua so first of all unajua ile biashara mimi niko ni biashara ya kuwa relevant unaona ningetaka ah. ningetaka kuimba about global warming tusikate meet ni <laughs> <laughs> kweli ni ah. kweli ningetaka kuimba hivyo lakini kwa sure angapo hapo angesikiza ngoma kama hiyo sinaona hakuna so unakuta pia pia listeners eh, wanaku force kuimba a certain way unaona yes. and then ndio relevant yani so unakuta yes. wale wase nilikuwa naimbia 2007 yes. 2008 2009 sasa hii au wasoko na mafamilia unaona yeah. so nakuta generation e generation ya saizi any any music may change world wide yani hatu kisikiza vinyo sawa nimba maju how any sika vile tambo liko nasikiza hip hop ilikuwa na unaweza sikia mse yes, yes, nikawa watu yes. wana mambo tu yani yeah, yeah. so nakuta ni generation wise may change kwa dunia mzima so nakuta lazima uchange na wasi kwa unataka relevant sasa ni force nimbe a certain way ah. lakini kama watu wangependa kusikia maji stagnant inaleta malaria na umbu <laughs> ngeimbo <laughs> <Nge imba. laughs> ah, uh, i think that's a polite way ya kusema umekata kuzeeka <laughs> <laughs> mm. where, where do you think uh, uli draw line ya eh, ni aji eh, mimi sitanyonga wasi acha niende ni hustle na mziki yangu ah uh, naweza sema kinaenda sema si poa lakini nafikiri sa, kitu pili ni push ni unajua mse unasikia amepigwa uh, like uh, uh, amepigwa risasi unaona yes, yes, yes. na unaenda unaona unajua kitu inakuwa affect sana na inakuweka uoga fulani unaona so unaweza sema alafu pia venye madha ni nilea alafu nafikiri zile shida pia nilipitia zile ni force ni nijaribu a way out lakini siko na jua ndanza ngoma jua ni kwa na kanyeri hakuna studio hakuna nini eh, eh, eh. so ni kwa nauzaga nafikiri pia pia shida ni unakuta unataka kuka kama best yako unajua bisa akaenda aibe phone atakaa naishi ghetto kuna vile anadunga kuliko wasu wako ghetto uh-huh. usahau pia ghetto kuna mademu wa ghetto na mademu wa ghetto pia kuna level ya mademu wa ghetto eh hey. <laughs> ni ukweli <laughs> Unajua tufikiria tu demo ametoka ghetto pia ukiwa ghetto kuna hierarchy ndani ya ghetto. Uh-huh. Una ule demo mwenye hiyo plot ataka ni ya mabati ni yao. So kuna vile wao. <laughs> Sikia ni kuna so, ni, ya, kuna kuna vile wao wako na dock kuliko nyinyi yes. lakini bado mko bado mko ghetto. Mko ghetto so nakuto yeah. demo ndo umpate pia lazima uko ya a certain level upande. So nakuto huyu mse mwenye anaenda na ibafona na nini huyu demo atakuwa tare kwake kuliko wewe mwenye we, unamwambia jo siku moja siku moja kata Ivana siku moja unajua <laughs> so unakuta <laughs> ana patience yako unaona yeah. so unaweza sema hiyo hiyo influence ya umse next alipatule dem liko anataka yani small things yani anafanya gamse i end up hivyo leso yeah. nakuta mimi niliendelea niliendelea tu nilikuwa na nilikuwa na njugu nilikuwa na bandika posta ni sasa bandika mpaka posta ya juu hapa yes kwa ndio ndai mimi ah eh mna msaa tisa unachukua unga nini mna kabla msiko na kanjo wakia mkasibu na kutoa posta ata mzima but then kwa hiyo kwa hiyo story ya ni, ni bahati ya mzee ama ulikuwa na kitu fulani na kupush yenye ilikuwa okay nilikuwa okay nilikuwa napenda ngoma lakini unajua pia kuna certain talent ukiwa nao kwa za mtaani lazima uonze nilikuwa naingilia go sana ukiingia base ah ndio msaani ameka <laughs> Unajua unaga kitu wewe kaza kwa tu ni mistari yani. Apatia <laughs> patia msanii mbao kule kule dondo unajua. So so hizo 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 vitu ni mobya ni kuchekelewa chekelewa sana. Baada ya kutia hiyo nakupatia psyche ya kuendelea kuandika. Tukianza tulikuwa sasa wengi tulikuwa na drama fe fulani. Tulikuwa tuka 11. Mafe fulani. Mafe fulani. Fe ni ile kitu nafikiria. <laughs> fe ni bunduki ndio <laughs> lakini <laughs> but but then tuna speed car. Ah. Cafe. Mm-hmm. But anyway Uh, wengi wali wengi wali give up wakaanza vitu zingine unaona mimi niliendelea tu kupush tu yeah, yeah. ingawa sikuwa najua sitakusia nilikuwa na framework atendenda hivi 
ati nitafanya hivi na hivi so anyway nilikuwa naandika tu talents achi kikam na perform yeah hivyo napata tao na yeye anunua kashati <laughs> na, na sasa hiyo ya sema kama hip hop for example mm. mseme jina yenu ilikuwa mafe fulani kwa sababu mna speed kama bunduki unaje yeah. eh sa, fe, fe ni bunduki <coughs> wasewa daystar na usa hiyo ukisema ukisema sema kama vile wasewa hip hop wanakuanga na hizo ma reference ndakumada ndafanya nini hizo wasi wengine usema zui influence yeah. crime mm. si ndio mm. uh, new feeling some sense of responsibility kwa Yeah move na hivyo na that's why yani CJ try ku uh, CJ try kusema ama kuishi vile si mimi unaona basi uba unajua nikijaribu peke yangu tuko wengi so uh, nikijaribu kwa nikijaribu kwa realistic na msimu mwingine anaonyesha life si yake ama anasema 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 ana, 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 ana praise your life unakuta maybe watani out number kwa sababu ni wengi kuliko mimi sasa hapo ndio shida iko unaona. Sasa mimi uki, uki notesa kwa social media zangu mmoja jaribu kuwa realistic kabisa na wase vile niko. Yeah. Sasa tena jaribu kufanya ufeel ni kama uko inferior ama ni kufanya ufeel ufanye kitu nyana kuambia si na sifanyi hivyo. Na hiyo ndio ile tanga pressure mob sana mtaani. Yeah. Eh hey, So shida ni mafans. So ni mafans wa shida okay shida, shida ni shida ni both sides shida ni both sides kwa sababu nakuta mimi ni kwa artist niko na responsibility ya kuambia youth reality lakini unakuta siko peke yangu kwa industry tuko wengi umsi mwingine anataka kukuonyesha vile yeye eh, ni like yeye ni superior than wewe so unafaa ku follow venye mimi nafanya ama unafaa utamani vile nasema ama vile nakaa na hao ndio wengi so nikijaribu ku preach reality yeah. inapotelea kwa hao wengi you know? naingia kwa hiyo yeah. mix ya nini yeah. noma na na ujai kwa tempted ku give up kwa hiyo kupush yako ya ndio umake it ama otherwise tuseme kama ngoma inge kwa kia ungekuwa unafanya nini manze yani mimi nilikuwa na, nafikiri mimi nilikuwa yani mimi nilikuwa nimekuwa nimekuwa tu na yani nilikuwa tu ngoma yani ingekuwa iwa kama hiyo sijui yani ningefanya nini lakini ningefanya tu something in a, in, a, in associate na music So but you kama posa tu ndio niingie kwa sababu una ukiaka posa unapigwa so ni either wa mupigwe rabe ama uingie free ama uchukue so ukule dondo ya mbao njugu yako bole nini uingie show so na so yani nilikuwa nadharibu tu kwa around hiyo entertainment and unaweza unaweza kwa by the unaona vile you've done well for yourself kufika level ya msi account musicians wa Kenya kwa the ten wenye watakam kwa akili jina yako ita come up mm. kufika place hiyo umefika niko sure wewe urudi majengo ujai saw roots bado muenda bado yeah. eh na maboys wenye wao kwa kwa hizo mix wenye wali give up ama msi ufil msi sema kwa wewe unasema uliogopa ama unaweza ingizwa baridi na mm. story ya msi ameshutiwa na karao eh manzo ukiona okay. ukiona brain ya msi imetoka nje ni noma sana unaona una, 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 mind yako una mpaka ideas zake zenyewe <laughs> ukiona uki, 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 uma, uma take initiative ya kuong, maybe kuongelesha ama boys ama kupea msi huko eh so unakuta uh, but sana ni nilime notice every time nikiendaga nikiendaga nyeri yeah. wale wase nilipataga siku zini wase wa new as unakuta wale sasa nil grow nao wengine wa okay wengi wao walishikwa wengine wali move nje ya nyeri so nakuta wale wako ni ma ni ma teenagers yani ah. then uh, kuna wale afio atakusikia lakini wengi wako na ile unajua ile like mimi najua yani aya ah, wewe usimwambie anything wewe usimwambie anything lakini wale afio wanakubaliki kukamalimuka kuka nao ndo uongelesha na, na, na ngoma zako ziko na maukweli fulani tukimalizia yeah. ngoma zako ziko na maukweli fulani kama hiyo yeah. story ya jana kuliendaje apparently ilikuwa ya msi fulani mlikuwa mnastini bro yangu ni bro yako yeah. alikuwa anakuchuja kile leo alikuwa gamlevi zali kwa anifukuza alafu asubuhi anifanya mesahau sasa nikwa fikini kujifanya hivi so nikaandika mimi nilikuwa andika gas sana sana vitu nimepitia nilikuwa ndio nilikuwa nimetoka ghetto nilikuja kushina klemo yeah. so nilikuwa everything nilikuwa nimeishi nimepitia nilo nilikuwa naimba unaona so nilikuwa napenda tu story zangu lakini sana nilikuwa najua nikiwa serious itakuwa itabamba wa so ni yakana humor ndio point end uko naiweza sana mm. actually nilikuwa nataka kuambia fallback yako kama mziki ingewak ungekampa ndeye tu 
Ungekuwa unafanya posta. Ungekuwa unafanya fiti. Na mama kadha angalia ndio wapi sasa. Abadhi usoni wacha ni kwambie eh najua watu wengi but kitu watu kitu watu hawaelewi ni hizo ngoma za kitambo bado niko nazo. But ule msa alikuwa anashutia video kuna venye aliacha kushut video. Charles Luch. Luch eh yeah. brother Clemo. Yeah. So kwamba alikuwa amacha kushut video na yeye anajua anajua na, na mimi na yeye tunaelewana design friend na kutoa hizo video fine ile time mko na madem mko na machali ndio anavaa kama piga lipstick but sasa but sasa niliongea na nimekuwa yani every time nimekuwa nikimwongelesha to shoot to shoot to shoot so juzi nilipatana na yeye nimekuwa nimeanza nimeanza kwa kwa project mpya tu ingoje soon eh hapo ndio unaza video zangu take time mwezi mwezi mmoja so shoot shoot kwa time mob ni toke poa but unafanya job poa sana uh, unafanya job poa sana uh, actually sure. before we let you go eh unaweza pia ma, ma boys shout out kwa hii camera hapa waambie kitu about oh, okay, kitu okay, okay. yenye yenye wewe ilikuchocha umeki uh, okay okay mimi nasema sema hivi yani msema unajua the the habu ndio kwa dhahabu eh lazima ipitishwe kwa moto unaona so lazima hakuna kitu kizuri kuja virahisi lazima upitie obstacles na uja, usi, usi give up and then another thing upenda kusema mia mzee mia mpya na mimi pasuka value ni ile ile wapi so makofi ya mesi gara mke kitu hakuna kitu imenibamba sana kama unajua tukifanya research ya isho yeah. kuna vitu mbovu sana tujaza kumake kuweka kwa show yeah. but tukifanya research tunaona kama causes of crime ni uh, TR unemployment uh, kukosa education peer pressure but leo me introduce ya mpya Madame Wageto. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. <laughs> <laughs>